Now I'm breathing better. I had to burn a little sage. We're recording. Hey guys, uh, common boss here. He mentioning Sorry, sage immediately camera. called a fucking tingle in the back of my nose. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> so hey, uh, I'm, I'm not on camera today, but you know. We still gonna have a good time. Seasons greetings and seasons beatings. Uh Corey Salter Chu Floyd from Maribe Media here. And of course, my favorite, my guy in the chair in the abyss of festivities, Demon Engine. Yo, yo. My camera's fucked up. My mic is fucked up as well. So y'all can't hear me unless I have this shit on my face. So y'all might as well see my pretty digital face from now on. I think he lying. I just think he wanted to uh, t- to uh, show off his avatar. Either way, I'm glad he's here, and we hope you guys are having a happy and safe holiday. Um, so this is the last episode of the year for the Mermaid Junkies, and we're talking about the best and worst of 2023. Did Boulder Gate change the game? Literally, the beloved MCU slide backwards. And is this the best year for anime? All and this. keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And more on this episode of the Mermaid Junkies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, and we are back. What's up, junkies? Uh how was this year for y'all? Know what I mean, let us know in the comments. Did y'all have a good year? Was it a bad year? It's definitely been a, a year. year. A year. It's been a year. Uh, good, and ba- good and bad. Balance as all things should be. I don't know if it was balanced because it sure was a lot of what the fuck. Especially in the world of video games. 2023 was maybe one of the best and also absolute worst year for video games. Thing should be no because there there were there were a to say there was a few stinkers would be being too nice like where like where do we even start okay There's a hellfire and destiny we just start at the beginning of the year with the banger that gave us uh Hallworth legacy oh well, yeah that was awesome yes yeah, yeah. That, that was fine. I mean, it was a certified Hogwarts also with legacy was awesome. It also the hype for it died so quick. So quick. I think it's just well, I think it was just like first off, there was the weird there was the weird controversy of people like people protesting the game because of JK Rowland's political views, and then it mutated into something even weirder because you had streamers who were doing charity streams playing the game yeah. while donating the funds to help transgender p- people. Yeah. But they were still getting protested on. I was like, yo, y'all confusing. <laughs> and then it was like trans streamers streaming, uh, trans people streaming the game and donating all funds to trans uh, rights. And like you said, they were still getting back on. Even after the people who made Harvest Legacy said J.K. Rowling had no association with the game. She had nothing to do with this. I just Damn, appreciated yeah. the game because it was nice to see a customer care a, a character characterization that had real black hairstyles. That was beautiful. To that's me, that's what one got, of the best parts of the game. That's what got black people into it. It was just like, oh, y'all got actual hairstyles. I wanted... Only reason I wanted to play the games that way I could start Avada Kedavin people that look at me sideways while I'm walking down the street. That and the mods. <laughs> the the Dobby mod is a free op- legacy was mm-hmm. insane. Dobby has been Dobby has been given a Glock. Dobby <laughs> is a free op now. Have mm-hmm. you seen that, Corey? Yes. Somebody gave Dobby a gun <laughs> instead of a one sort of running around. Uh, Avada Kedavra and everybody. Horrible. Like so I don't horrible. know. I don't know where Hogwarts Legacy falls. I think it, it was, was a, a great game. 
but the but the all the controversy surrounded it. Uh, I think what killed it shortly afterwards. I don't think it was that. I also think there was there there was nothing after it came out. There was no expansions, no DLCs. Like there, like. The de- the game came out, it made its money back plus some, and then they didn't do anything after that. Where was Quidditch? The one oh. thing everybody wanted was Quidditch. Do they though? Like, do they? Because it's like, because to be honest, Quidditch is a hodgepodge of a game where at the end of it all, it doesn't matter if you're not catching the gold snitch. Right. Right, and everybody and, and everybody gonna forget to like throw the ball through the hoop. And right, but that's after, the thing. The it, snit. it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I feel like, like watching it. It's like it's watching like, an yo, NBA game, and the <laughs> first one to make a half court shot wins the entire game. Right. <laughs> so so Steph Curry, <laughs> pretty much. It's crazy. But on the other side of the gaming spectrum, oh, there has been so many shit shows of a game. Where do we where do we start? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the low hanging fruit because this one's very easy. Lord of the Rings Gollum was a game that no one really asked for. I wanted to play that so bad while we was at Pax, yeah. but that line for, that, that line for Gollum was so long. I did, and I was just like, I don't see the appeal here. I'm like, I don't, it's like, I don't want to play as Middle Earth's crackhead. I mean, I agree. No one asked for Lord of the Ring and Gala. And even now, to this day, I haven't seen no one talk about it. That's because it was a horrible game. It was it was glitchy as shit. The, it just, it was unnecessary. Who were they, who were they making that game for? It, it it made no sense. Another gamers, game. gamers who was fans of Gollum from Lord of the Rings, which is probably like that's, forty-five people. That's we're, weird. We're, we're fans of Gollum in a laughing at it sense, not right. as a I play as that character sense. Right, like like I want more content from from from, from Gollum. Yeah. And, and then you ha- and then. And an, uh, another shitty game uh, that I think actually I think it leaned so hard on who was in it that they forgot to actually make a good game. Um, it was called Crime Boss Rock Hay City. It had Nothing. like it didn't had even like, hear of it. Duh! It had Michael Roker, Chuck Nine. Norris. Oh Mike, shit! Yeah, it had a bunch. It had a bunch of celebrities in it, but the game was shitty. Oh, uh, that's that's relying on that uh st- celebrity uh star. It was like it. it was like a shittier version of Payday. And then on top of that, Payday Three came out and it was mediocre. Up, Payday Three, yeah, it was mediocre at best. I mean, I have seen a lot of gameplay for for Payday. I was never a fan of the uh, Payday series. Not seeing it, and I'm with you. I wasn't impressed. Buy it at all? Not, not at all. And and the streamers who I watch, they had like it was like five, five or six maps. I don't and, think I've ever played either. Yeah, you ain't missing nothing. I played it once. I played it once, and it was just like, the fuck is this shit? Mm. And another another game that what the fuck uh, is this? A game that really pissed me off because they had the implications to be absolutely great. Redfall. Yo. Redfall, dude. Redfall could have been great. It really Red, could have. Redfall definitely hurt. Now, what now what what's what scared me about this is this was from Arcane Studios, a amazing game developer group, the same folks behind Deathloop along pl- with plenty other games. This would have been their first vo- their first voyage into like a live action RPG style first person shooter. But somehow and and I feel like hear me out. I feel like because of their record, Xbox just let them do their own thing with no overview. So they were like, yeah, it's going to be fine. 
yeah, it's cool. Then when the game came out, Xbox was like, yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I feel like the game would have been fine, but I feel like see, see from studios like that who 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 who, who consistently knocked it out the part. I feel like the publisher gets in the way. Mm. They cause like they like, oh, we're doing something good. They showed the trailer and some gameplay, which everybody was loved and excited for. Now the publisher was like, hey, yo, put that shit out. And the studio's like, it's not ready. Put that shit out like it's not ready. I.e. Cyberpunk 2077. The cyberpunk from when it was dropped and cyberpunk from now is then in two different versions of, of the same game. Mm-hmm. Because uh CD Project Red kept getting um like threatened to put the, the crappy game out just for the, the sales. And it was so bad, Sony had to give people their money back. But luckily that has a Cinderella style ending. And that is one of the best oh. things of 2023. Yeah. They actually got an award for it at the video game awards. As it should have. Which, by the way, another... Yo. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, Oh, man. Christopher Judge taking a shot at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That was a... Yo. He he said his speech last year was longer than Modern Warfare 3's campaign. And... (laughs) Well, his whole chest... And the devs for that game, yo, the devs for that game said something about it on Twitter the next day. Did so they? you knew it stung. What'd they say? Do you remember? There was like, actually, we put a lot. Of, it's like, no, you didn't. Just, just stop. Stop. I'm like, yeah. you, talk, you talking only makes it worse. I seen the um one of the devs, actually, he was talking about how much time it takes to uh to make a game and how much uh effort it costs to go into maybe I shouldn't put it. out one every fucking year. I agree. Right. It's like I agree. like like, like how y'all we got all a game. understand how do y'all hold on. How do y'all got a game split between three different uh studios? They all still make it right. to manage to have shit each year. All of you get a what a total of what two years? Two, three years work on the next yep. Call of Duty? Because it's because become that, that way. It's become a, a live service game for the most part. That normally that normally at the at the very least normally has a decent campaign mode for people who like storytelling and gaming. Cause I was because that 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 used to be my thing. I'm like, listen, that was me. I, I was the same way. Multiplayer is cool, but I also really like the stories. I I got, I gotta admit, I I fuck with the stories. The decline for Call of Duty started a while ago, but it was visible to a lot, almost everybody else. Once fucking Warzone came out, Mm. Uh, so I was like, y'all gonna follow the Fortnite strategy, focus on this and nothing else, dumbasses. Yup, because. Because they want to focus on live streaming because they think that's where their bigger profit is at. Instead of what Christopher Judge was saying, making a compelling and narrative storyline for people like me and Corey who don't play fucking live service games. Don't get me wrong, I do, but I also like if I also like games that have a good story. Right. Because I like I, I like a ones with the story. <laughs> like, like, uh, like one, like one game. Even though it, even though it, I, I know they make up their story as they as it goes along. Fortnite just broke out a whole new, uh, a whole new section of gaming because Epic Games bought out the company Harmonix, and Harmonix was behind a lot of the big music games from the early two thousands, uh, like, um, uh. Karaoke Revolution, Dance Revolution, uh, as well as the Guitar Heroes and Rock Bands. They bought that entire company, and now there's a section on Fortnite called Music Festival, which is pretty much Rock Band. Yo, and 
and they're and they're gonna be a, doing an update soon where you could actually buy, bring back your guitars, your drum kits, and everything from Rock Band and play them for this mode. Now that's a big that's a win. I seen this clip yesterday where I these prefer people to just have DJ Hero and Guitar Hero back than having to play Fortnite for that shit. I would love to, to to see a new uh, Guitar Hero. I think well, somebody's making it. They can. I'm, ab- I'm above and beyond tired when it comes to Fortnite. I'm just pop culture the video game. Skins well, are nice. Some of them are tough, but I'm above and beyond it. And you can buy and you can buy songs with V Bucks to perform them. Hell. So I like they I still said, have I was... reg- they still have other songs you can just perform, but if you want to perform Pacific songs, you can buy them with V Bucks. I yeah. seen um this 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 uh streamer clip yesterday where he seen somebody uh singing in a microphone, so he shot him. So he went over there. He started playing a guitar while they was using the microphone. And then a song came on, and then another person joined, and they was playing the guitar. And then another person joined, and they was playing the drums. And it turned into a whole song with each instrument added. Oh, I think I think that that's an emo called Master. Yeah. Of, it's I have the emo. It's called Master of Puppets. It's a it's a, 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 a everyone can join it. That they start playing amazing. the song Master of Puppets, and you can get shot in the middle of that shit if you fuck around. So and then <laughs> somebody came over there in a Goku skin, and 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 all four people joined in and and shooting them, <laughs> and then went back to playing that song. They was playing. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> One, that's disrespectful. Two, <laughs> I would have been more. I would have been more impressed if you would have said Goku came over there, and all of a sudden it, you heard fucking. Oh, okay. Never knew no. what I was what? missing, but I knew once we start kissing, I found. Okay, moving on. You know, you know what was, you know what was really disrespectful. You couldn't tell me fucking Goku wasn't killing that shit on TikTok. You know what was really disrespectful? Mortal Kombat One on the Nintendo Switch. Ew. Stop it. Get help. Of the all, Switch uh, can't handle these things. Y'all know it can't. Yo, Just bring up the Switch shit, 2 already. That For shit real. look like look like when you order something off of off of Wish. And it's like it's like, yeah, I got Mortal Kombat. Then when the game comes, you're like, this is called a Mortal Kombat Tay. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a have you seen some of the mods they've done since Omni Man's come out? Oh, remember that God. fucking remember that one meme where the music will plays and every time the beat drop it would just be him like fucking his back turn squat yeah. devil. Somebody made that for his fucking block animations. Stop. Wow. But um going back to uh punk. Um Phantom Liberty was an amazing DLC and now I want uh, something pertaining uh, Edge's Elba character and and Johnny Silverhand. I know the two has never met in Cyberpunk lore, but those two would would be good. And for y'all who don't know, we had an interview with the creator of Cyberpunk, and he dropped the gem that they are currently talk in talks of making a live action. Cyberpunk 2077. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. So that so for me, that was definitely one of my best things of 2023. That gem mm-hmm. that he dropped. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Stay, stay tuned for that. Uh what what else? Oh, this is yo, this has been this has been a new like this is the craziest thing in gaming news for me this year. Um former YouTuber and former member of G4 TV, Gerard, aka the Completionist, yeah. has got himself in a shitload of trouble. What did he do? What? What did he now, do? Now, now, for years, Gerard has ha- has made this event called Indie Land, which is a showcase highlighting independent games. 
And this is a fundraiser, and all the money goes towards uh, research for uh, um, uh, dementia, mm -hmm. de like de uh, dementia research. Lo but these two YouTubers just happened to check out some public records and found out that the fund has raised six hundred thousand dollars, but has donated absolutely nothing over the last six years. Wow. Hey. Yo. Wow. And so and Gerard Gerard did an interview with them and things got really really bad to the point that it at one point it sounded like alleged it sounded like he was trying to bribe them. But now he's put up this big front saying there's going to be an investigation and he's threatening the sue. It's like, "No, my G." You you might want to get everything else in order because there's some crimes being committed here, and to me it just kind of reminds me about That's how your hard, ass, Mr. Uh, Postman. Somebody going to jail. How hard? Like after G four collapsed, I'm like, yo, a lot like these motherfuckers. Like Austin Creed is doing great. You better like, hang up I, that computer call. Austin, Creed, Austin Creed is doing great. Bro, 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 Austin, bro, bro. Austin Creed was doing great before G4. Right. And he's doing better after it. But then again, he's one of the hardest working working nerds out there. Frost Fro, Frost has not been seen or heard of even in the even in esports. Is that the is that the rant lady? Yeah. Uh, you had I, the definition of you had one fucking job, dog, and and, and I don't want to harp on that because we talked. I about don't before, disagree bro. with anything she said, bro, but you had one job. Talk you, about fucking Red Dead. But here, here was the crazy. Here was the crazy part. She was if she had support from the rest of the team, it would have been fine. Because they supported her in that very moment, but a week later they had Amaranth on in a bikini. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, because they know what the people want. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what G4 is. We know what G4 is. You know what G4 is. You you know Bring what Pecker's show and X Play was about. More more so Bring back the show. But Bring like, back. You know. You know I just, my eye candy. Bring I back the gaming mommy. I just remember how Frost was talking about Olivia Munn, and I'm like, I don't think she remembers that show the clearly. Cause uh there was a lot of situations that were just cringe. But for like, you know, for like for she was like with three it. years. For like three years. <laughs> but anyway, moving along. Oh, so so like I said in the beginning. Probably the greatest game this year, or greatest game for a long time, finally dropped midsummer, and it changed the game industry. What game? Bald oh, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah. Like Larian Studios did such an amazing job that 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 the other big triple A studios was like hating. Hating in the comments, like don't don't expect us to do what Larry and Studios did because we can't. I'd be hating in the comments too. The fuck? What, what got me was all the um. Y'all boss, let y'all work. <laughs> what got me was at the Game Awards how everyone swore up and down Spider Man Two was gonna win Game of the Year, and I'm like, no, it's and not. It, it didn't take. A single award. Spider Man 2 wasn't going to win game. Because you know, because you know, game. 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 not all the Borders Gate. Because you know why? And, 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 and th this is my key reason why. Or Zelda. We've had, we've had several Spider Man games within the last four and a half to five mm -hmm. years. So mm -hmm. even though Spider Man 2 might look good, it even has a new story, which to be honest, isn't all around that great. Mm -hmm. It's borderline a live service game because this is the even though this is Spider-Man 2, 
This is the third or fourth Spider-Man game we've gotten. I think it's the fourth. Case in point. But yeah. yeah, but 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 Valerian Studios doesn't have half the size of these other big AAA companies or the budget. But they got the heart and they want to do the work. Which they brings, do the work. A, a which brings solid, me to solid, like solid RPG. Which brings me to another point when we when we start talking about film and movies. Okay, mm-hmm. so 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 Larry and Studios respectively won um a game of the year because honestly, like no no video game came that came out this year came close to not not Alan Wake 2 or Zelda or one of the biggest flops that was also a commercial hit, Starfield. Yeah. When, be, when before I was able to get my hands on it, I seen some of the other streamers having it, and you could ask Dream Engine. I was pissed. I like this looks like shit. This looks like Fallout in the fucking outer space. I, I thought that's I, what Outer Worlds was. <laughs> yes, but no. Like dead ass said, that's what Outer Worlds look like to me. Just, Outer just Worlds Fallout is more space. like Fallout in space. Because Starfield Starfield has so many different ways you can go about shit. You can like there's no definitive ending to Starfield. And it's it's a much more expansive world where, yeah, I kind of get why I get why people can be mad at it graphically, but it's like, look at the amount of shit you're doing. It's way like it's way bigger than anything right. else you're playing. And like one of the one of the things about Starfield is right what you said, Corey. Like, like from jump, you could take Almost any path. Mm -hmm. I mean, once your backstory is set up, you you either have parents or you don't. You're a raider from a bounty hunter to a ronin to a chef. And all that actually plays a part in your story. Yep. I mean, you just don't pick your background and you never, and it it doesn't matter, honestly. And Starfield, it actually mattered what you picked. Yep. And and I seen I seen so many streams and even in my own gameplay, the Starfield one of the highest replayabilities for for a game. Honestly, it has a higher replayability than than Borders Gate. But mm. yeah, but at the uh, but at the end is it's literally just like Fallout or Skyrim. You know? Like and I think and I think Bethesda, 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 the way Bethesda make games is gonna have to change at the Starfield. Let's 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 be real though with, with Baldur's Gate. It is a great game. They did a lot of things well, but most of its replayability comes from which t- which character am I trying to riz up now? <laughs> <laughs> I def I definitely give you that because because from 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 playing as a good character and and rising up a uh, 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 muscle mommy to <laughs> to to uh playing a to playing an evil character and rising up the dark elf Jake, like it's definitely uh has a a high replay like I risen up the dark elf beat the game. Let's start over and let's grab some potions of fire resistance. That's how, that's how that goes. Yeah, All right. I mean, Star, overall, Starfield was a great game, but it also wasn't even nominated for game also, of the year. I think that was a huge snuff by uh by the homie Jeff Keeley and and whoever his team is that put together the uh the, the nomination for the year. I don't think yeah. Super Mario Wonder should have been on up there. Me too. Like this game just came out. Who the fuck? Yeah, I like. I'm like. Don't don't get me wrong. I like. I like 
Super Mario Wonder, aka Mario's on drugs this time. Right. But like, but like, I feel like Starfield was definitely snuffed at the uh for, for, for game of year. That's okay. Listen, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's, it's all gonna work out eventually. But um, are we gonna move on to the next? Hold on, moving one more on. Uh, one more thing. The game of the one. year awards was a letdown this year. Oh yeah, the of video course. game awards did not have a lot of awards. It didn't have a lot of awards. It had a nice, a, a bunch of sexy as the uh, trailers for a bunch of games, and makes me like, damn, I really do need a five. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, so I also the had tease been... from Monster Hunter Wilds just. Well, that got you me say? Going. It wasn't a lot, but ooh, it got me going. Wide open range, hunting monsters to the heart. My heart's content. That's because that's because you're the monster. That's the whole the whole twist behind Monster Hunter. Don't don't pour animals. Don't be doing nothing on that game. But mind their goddamn business. Y'all just be yeah. out there like predators. Right, right. Uh, fucking poachers. That's what, that's what y'all are. Y'all poachers. Out there cutting off tails and putting them to the highest bidder. Mm. No, we don't cut off tails but and send them to the highest bidder. We make food and armor out of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, the it's a way of life. But we're going to kick this off saying? now. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. We moving to anime. We got the time. Moving to anime now. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a lot of big moves in anime this year. Attack on Titan. That 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 was <laughs> no that one was cares it. about the Attack on Titan. That was the, right. the 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 big finale. The big no it's about, about fucking time finale. We're just going to start off this best animation. And also, worst animation studio of 2023. JJK, best in, best in class for animation this year. Best no argument. MAPPA. Was the worst Mappa in class. <laughs> is the and, worst and in the class. <laughs> is an employer. Like, every week made me feel conflicted. Like, God damn, this some fucking heat. God damn! And then we let them niggas go home. On Twitter, as like Mappa employees is is dying and, and and walking out the studios, and and Mappa doesn't know if they're gonna be able to complete JJK. So so even even the, the animators that's left, they put together some bullshit on their end, but was absolute fire on the other side. That fight mm -hmm. between Tsukuna and Maharaga, that if fight wasn't even finished. If you can't stand the mop of heat, get out of the malevolent kitchen. That's how it that's wasn't. Good. Maharaga and Tsukuna fight wasn't even finished, and it still went so hard. So I don't know what's they, going on. They up the fuck out of Maharaga's durability in the anime. I just, I'm just weirded out because it's like they don't have their shit together to finish their upcoming projects. While just days ago they just said they're gonna remake Ashita Nojo. Right. And I'm like, wait, can y'all get the projects y'all working on now done? Anybody drop something else too? Which, too much I, which, like, I, which I just seen a trailer for. I'm like. How y'all producing all these, all these movies and, and, and shows, but your animators keep walking out? What's going on over there? If some animators can walk out, other animators are chained to their desk. Let's keep it a bean. Wow. <laughs> uh. I mean, but this anime season was to me probably one of the best anime seasons yet. We had mm -hmm. second season of Goblin Slayer, which was fucking Goblin Slayer. 
the second of Eminence and Shadow, which was, which was also uh, good. Uh, Shangri La Frontier. I have yet crazy. to watch that. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> my daughter went away and returned as an S tier adventurer, which I just got done finished. Crazy. Like this season of anime, to me, was one of the best seasons. It had everything for everybody. Whether you want a video game, easy car, romance, mm -hmm. my happy marriage was amazing. So never, never contender for me in best anime of the fucking year, Bleach. The sixth season of Bleach, like, thousand year blood war, just been cooking every episode. Motherfucker said, I ain't dying no more. Time to show you why Bleach was considered one of the big three. We gonna hold that title. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that was that was the one I was like, the one that was the big winner for me this year was Bleach, because at first I personally had concerns on the comeback on the comeback of Bleach, because I mean it was going yeah. for so long. Yeah. It was like I would like it was one of those things where you're not you're not really sure if uh if everyone's gonna be able to fly with it. Well, but it, there, didn't, it, wanted, but it didn't skip it was, a beat. It's it been going not. for so long, yeah. but there's just like you no, know, we didn't finish this the right way. We're gonna properly finish the thousand. We're gonna properly do the thousand year blood war, and ooh we. And that's that all you can good. ask for as a fan. Is if you're going to end this series, end it properly, though. Yeah, like, the possibility like it might not even Titan, be over. A second Titan did it, it did in like a thousand parts. <laughs> but they ended it properly. Bleach is going to take like another, another two seasons, but it's going to end on a proper note. The fights are going to be great. Like I got to... I have to watch Attack on Titan to see if I actually how I feel about it because before <laughs> boy, I was upset. I came here for rumbling. You gave me two minutes of rumbling and 15 minutes of fucking emotions. I came to see niggas get stepped on and Aaron Yeager stand on business. <laughs> stand on business. Standing on business. It's horrible. No, yeah, this season yeah. of anime was 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 insane. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you uh you watch one show, you there's like twenty other shows that you can jump into. Facts. Also, also um one of the worst things in anime this season was the the ending of High Dive. It is it is it is <laughs> going away. The end of this year. Can you can you call it an can you call it an ending like that shit was barely around? Yeah, like we caught the beginning <laughs> of it. Like, like that's that shit got a few years. Yeah, like we caught the the birth of it at uh at one of the anime conventions we was at, and then it was gone. So it was there, then it was gone. Long long live Crunchy Road. Like we've got a choice, right? Pretty much. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty much. Hey, y'all don't got, got a choice. Roll, I'll put the link in uh, the uh, you know the site <laughs> that I'm watching. Y'all don't got a <laughs> choice, but fucking yo ho yo ho pirates life for me. Oh, speaking, virtual cocoa speaking, is good as fuck. No, speaking of, uh, go ahead, Corey. I was gonna say. Speaking of, I was ready to get into the the film, the film and television portion of the year. Uh, and well, one on. piece before you do that, before you do that, uh, one of the crappy thing in the twenty twenty three is that Sony is telling uh, people who buy digital games that they don't own them. Yep. And 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 we put up on our Instagram. That if me paying a hundred bucks for a digital game doesn't mean I own it, then I might as well not pay anything and put on my straw hat. Yeah, because I'm like, at least Steam, when you buy a game off Steam, you buy it. 
So does that mean if I pay if I pay eight dollars for 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 a, a copy of a game that I don't I don't own the game? They just, they, they, they just take the game away. That's wild. We'll uh, see what happens with that. That's, to be fair, that, I, I haven't owned the reasons, game in so long. That's one of the reasons why I still bought a Series X because I still want to buy physical copies of games. I would like to buy physical copies of games, but in the past I've had my shit broken so much or stolen, or uh, like you know, I'll just keep it on my system. Mm. Oh, you could make. I had because if I had a physical diff, because if I had a physical disc of Kingdom Hearts three, even though it was bad, if I had a physical disc of Kingdom Hearts three, and somebody snapped that shit or break it in any way or lose it, I'm losing. I'm flipping my shit. I'd rather it just be on my fucking console. You can make an argument for both, but for Sony to tell me I don't own it after I fucking pay for it is, is a whole nother uh, monster Sony. in itself. I don't know who the fuck is up in upper management, but they need to be replaced. All right, but uh, moving mm. on. The best thing they, ain't getting, they haven't been getting my money for the past, like, Decade, so I ain't even mad. The best and worst of movie and television. First you and want... foremost, let's talk about the real heroes of 2023. The writers and actors guild. Yes. They yes. like they held the line, they didn't shake, they didn't buckle. Mm-hmm. They they was like, We want like we want a better deal. Hollywood was like, uh, I don't know about that. It was like, well, nigga, I guess we all ain't working. And then they're like, all, oh, all. Oh. And to me, that, that's one of the best things of 2023. Because what came out of that was the the FX Studios uh, unionizing. Mm-hmm. And, and they it, definitely needed to unionize. Woo! Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because we're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. But... You see the bullshit that happens when when studio could, could just say, "Do this, do this crack, or we'll find someone else to do the crack." What are you singing? What are you What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? What? <laughs> like, why are you humming, humming while Brahim's talking? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking, I was overtaken with festive joy. Continue. Understood, festive joy, but it's been a it's been an amazing year, uh, for 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 the people in Hollywood. I don't know if Hollywood as a whole as a whole had a good time. There was a lot of surprising movies that came out in twenty twenty three. One of the one of the biggest hits which came out recently isn't even from Hollywood; it's from Japan. Godzilla minus one. Oh, uh, Godzilla! Yeah. Godzilla minus one. Uh, especially even even though. We all we all end up hating the human stories in these recent monster films. This one actually made me give a damn. And it's also one of the few times in my life that Godzilla was actually scary as hell to me. This so Godzilla I, this so Godzilla this Godzilla gave absolutely zero fucks about your life. I mean, he as he like, should. He was like he was like that dude uh that dude on Instagram uh Mims Bing Bong fuck your life. Yeah. <laughs> like Bing-bong. an amazing film which by the way if you l- look at the film look at the trailer and I'll tell you this that movie costs less than 15 million dollars to make. Did it make any money back? Yeah, it's already made its money back like threefold. As, as Japan is about to re-release it in their theaters in classic black and white. So that's one of the, to me that that's one of the best things that happened in 2023. A lot of the live action uh animes that we got was crap, but now we got One Piece. Which <laughs> I think I think One Piece uh the biggest con- the biggest factor in that was actually having One Piece's creator have final say over everything. Because which he, was, 
a fan of the anime and not just some person in a suit that wanted to make a movie. Hell, he's yeah. the one who he's the one who picked out Luffy. And I gotta admit, it's a good choice. Yeah. It was a great choice cause uh I like cause, the kid. Because, because because Oda because Oda loved the kid. And Oda and Oda made them reshoot. Did he? Yeah, there was a lot of scenes he didn't there was some scenes he didn't like, so he demanded that they reshoot them. A uh, good. Good. So hey, I'm I'm all for it. Uh another surprising hit that came out earlier earlier in 2023, horror movie Megan. Oh yeah. I Which, watched that. I was not ready. Not going on. <laughs> were you, not were you ready? Not, were you not ready for the 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 the, the tongue in cheek shit Megan was about? Like oh my god. Like, when this bitch was singing that child titanium, I'm like, word? This I was like, I feel like I was like, I feel like she's trolling right now. <laughs> it was like, it was like you're not just singing titanium because it's a good song. It's because you're actually made of titanium. I'm uh, like, bitch. Okay. What do you think of the movie, uh, Demon Ninja? Well, I fucking liked it. Fucking fucking loved it. Concept terrifying. Make me not want to buy. It. Make me not want to have kids and give them expensive shit. I was just like you. This programmer, who's clearly not a parent, thought she could just make a parent, and I'm like, no, nah, that's how that works. Are you going to return get sex doll, um, Demon Ninja? And a hush goes over the crowd. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> I heard that disrespectful shit you just said. <laughs> Um, another. I will when it gives me a headache. <laughs> well, luckily, luckily, it doesn't talk back. Not yet. Not yet. Oh no, it does. I programmed um, it to talk back. I like my bitches feisty. But um, another uh, another another great hit that actually came out this year. This was on sh- this was on streaming platforms. Uh, it's anime. It's animated though. Scott Pilgrim takes off. Which came out on Netflix? Did you like and it? I've been meaning to watch that. I yo, I heard it's I, good. I didn't it's like it. Excellent. I didn't like it. Why? Thor was boring. The fuck? I I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it a shot. A, I watch a lot of uh, anime. It's mainly what I watch. I was a little excited for Scott Pilgrim. I just thought it was boring. Is it because Scott's the piece of shit? He definitely a piece of shit, but no. Yeah, he's <laughs> always he's always been a piece of shit. Yeah, so he's, he's always, been a piece of shit, but no, that, that wasn't a reason. The, the lesson from the Scott off. Pilgrim, the Scott lesson from the Scott Pilgrim movie is just you can play with people's heart as long as you believe in yourself. That's all that matters. <laughs> Have confidence in yourself, and you'll do. This was a, this Scott Pilgrim takes off answers one of the great questions. That people who sh- that people who watch the movie should have been asking, why does Scott have to deal with Ramona's problems? I I asked that question when I seen the movie, and I but, and I and I love the fact that because it really is about Ramona dealing with her shit her way, and I I thought that was hilarious because you have to like. You don't need the action of the original if you're going to flip it and change the protagonist to Ramona because obviously Ramona doesn't solve everything with violence. Right. It's a great She let other niggas do it. Exactly. She let the niggas do it. <laughs> Not this one, though. Uh, and, that's what, and that's what I thought made it work. She um, takes no accountability in the movie. Like Scott, Scott fights her seven, a uh, several, several, seven evil exes. I'm like, did they fight each other? Like, did one fight two, and right. did one two fight three? Like, how, how, like, how did that work? How did, how did that work? Right. And, and did like, like, form some coalition that they're gonna beat up every nigga that uh, right. that like Ramona a- afterwards and shit. Like, does does now does Scott now join a coalition? Is Scott number eight? 
if him and Ramona break up. What? Right. He can't even be number eight. Nigga, Bert turned all the other niggas to coin. He's starting off oh, right. fresh. Right, right, that right. That nigga, 8.1. <laughs> <point one. laughs> uh, another, uh, another big streaming hit this year was on Amazon Prime. The spinoff Invincible. from the boys. No, the spinoff from the boys, Generation V. Invincible was better. No, because here, because unlike Generation, uh, unlike uh, Generation V, at least they just kept running their shows. We're not waiting for the rest of the fucking season. Yeah, that's one of the so things. so invincible. Invincible is good. T- season two was good, but it doesn't get any points here because I'm still waiting for the rest of the fucking season. Yeah, but you but won't gen- get until next month. But Generation yeah. V, Generation V, that shit was fire. I thought, I thought, I thought, I initially thought that Generation V was going to crash and burn after a few episodes. It should have. It definitely could have. But damn, the lore, the the world, I was like, yo, this is fire. And the, Listen, and the, and the, and the finale. Gonna lie. We, we we was going to talk about it, and I wanted to talk about Generation V, but I had to suffer through that show. Why? Again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you be looking for exactly? Some sort of nonstop action? I don't. I, I don't go into it looking for something, but it was like every episode. I don't know. I don't know if it draw on too long for me, or. Or or the character was, was was irritated, but I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it, and and I watched the the series just so we could talk about it, but we never got around to doing an episode about it. And I don't know. I I didn't like anything. The best part to me was when Homelander showed up. <laughs> that and, was the best. and that tells me a problem right there. You did not give any new characters a chance. If that's the case. No, if the, no. If your favorite part is uh, is an established character you already know, that t- what that what that tells me is you weren't paying you weren't paying attention to any of the stories that was in all those episodes. I I like the main character in this genre. I liked her, and and we talked about her. And I liked her bloodbending. I think to me she had one of the best powers in the in the series. Period. No, that can so, now that we hold on, hold on, pause, pause. You just moment. Can so, I now need a picture? Somebody to make that picture. I need her dressed up as Choso. <laughs> I mean, she kind of just looks like a Cho. She just looks like a bloodbender doing her own thing in modern times. So, Duh, she <laughs> she blew up the boy dick. That was funny as fuck. <sighs> The fact that she literally was just sensing, she sensed a tracker in her blood and pulled that shit out. I was like, yo. Like I said, she, to me, she got one of the best powers in the, the not, not just that show, but the whole series of the boys, the whole universe of the boys. She got one of the best powers because we know what blood bending can do. And they showed some of it, which I showed a lot of it during, during the series. I don't know. I just didn't. I just wasn't in love with the series. I'm not going to say it was bad, but to me, it was bad. Yeah, because I'm like, you lying. <laughs> like, this is a aw- this is a fucking awesome show. <laughs> Nigga, you crazy. <laughs> but uh, we also had we also had the last the quote unquote last installment of John Wick this year. Which of course is not really the last, but That's damn it, it was the film. damn it, it was the funnest. I mean, right after the movie ended, they said that they're making another John Wick, which I don't know if they should have. Because well, let's talk about like he dies at the end of the movie, quote unquote. I mean, he doesn't die. I I I honestly believe he doesn't die. They just make they on paper they make John Wick deceased. Yeah, that's what no, I, I feel like. That's what I think. I, too. I, I I still need him to get get his get back on the fucking nigga that was running the Continental. I don't even remember his name. Yes, Winston. No, that's, yes. that's one of his best that's friends. The ho- dog, Winston is the homie. 
You don't read them in this fucking shit in the first place. No. That's uh, no. Winston Winston has kept it a hundred with John the whole time. And if anything, John, if anything, it's the other way around. The continental was, made... was, was destroyed because of John Wick ass. Yeah. John, yo, John at the end of part two, John killed a dude on continental grounds. Winston could have easily just had that nigga taken care of right then and there. I mean, it wouldn't have happened, but he could have tried. No. (laughs) No, no, no. Pause. Pause. Because one of the last scenes in that movie where Winston had everybody in the park stand in place to let John know, he's like, yo, people are on you. There's a million eyes on you right now. But I told them you get three hours head start. Because th- a lot of people forget this scene. When John saw that all those people stopped, John was scared because he had nothing. Uh. That like, It was one of those times where if Winston wanted to take John out, it would have been a wrap right then, right there. No, it wouldn't have mattered. John's a guy. No, John is human. I'm a, not, not in his world. Not in his world. Not his world. He gets fucked up <laughs> like he human, but he <laughs> that motherfucker playing human. <laughs> he been a guy this whole time. He been playing human. <laughs> Duh, like that nigga the, is a god of firearms. That's in the he, last one when he was fighting in, in, in his other homies uh, hotel. He ain't have a gun and he run around killing motherfuckers with their guns. He took a nigga nunchucks. Beat the bull upside the head with the nunchucks. Drop the nunchucks. Put that somebody else katana. Kill them. Mm-hmm. Grab somebody gun like 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 John John Wick is is an yeah. animal is an animal unto Imagine himself. starting Never. off with SWAT raid with no weapons. And like my and, man and, on it, my man on his Call of Duty shit scavenger pro, right? <laughs> like. And then, like the only the only dude in that world who could have gave John like a, a, a problem was was Donnie Yen, and them niggas was friends. Like Donnie Yen, like I right, I'm gonna kill you because they paying me to. But Donnie Yen really didn't. They try wasn't to even paying him. They wasn't even paying him. They had. I was right. They had his daughter. Yeah, they had his daughter. But like like Donnie Yen really didn't even try. Cause like them niggas was friends. The only dude who probably could have killed John, um, fucking what's the name, was his friend. I think y'all, yo, I think y'all forget that there was a lot of plot armor for uh in in John Wick. No, we ain't forget. That's why we joking saying this nigga's a guy. This nigga is plot armor. Though, though he got thrown off the roof of a hotel and lived. Yeah, he did live. He he what is that nigga's <laughs> spine made out of? That's what I want to know. But that's the amount the funny of part. shit he's falling down on. Right, right. This he don't move like a spring chicken either. He, like you see that, like, like I'm like, listen, you're not moving the way he was in the first movie. And that's one thing I, I love about it, dog. It's My like, man hobbling everywhere, still catching body. <laughs> Body, body, bodies. Him, her, him, her, bodies, bodies, bodies. But um, wait, I wanna I wanna move on, move to a few more things. Uh, another great movie that came out this year, the remake Aquaman of, 2. No, Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> Aquaman, yo, Aquaman <laughs> 2. Aquaman wasn't actually it wasn't wasn't a bad movie. The first, I mean, I, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it was a solid film. It's just a film that, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Yo, seven, yeah. I give it a solid, a solid seven. Yo, I'm gonna let seven you go back to Evil Dead Rising, but but Aquaman too. Jason Jason Momoa is, was done with uh, Aquaman. Like he is ready sure. to move. He is ready to move on to Lobo. Yeah, he even said it in a recent interview of uh, yeah. uh, uh over at IGN. I think it was IGN. But yeah, he said it in a recent interview. He like, I thought they were coming up for Lobo. I ain't want to do this shit. 
They had talked me into. <laughs> He's done. He's done. Now, I think now, uh, the actor who played Orum should have been Aquaman. I don't know. I like him as Ocean Master. Bitter at bitter ass nigga. Like um, he all he always plays a bitter person too. Always, always. And like he's good at playing bitter. But I think just, that that's that's he's just like, a bitter bitch. I think that's that, that's that, that that's a little of uh, Aquaman author's uh, style. At first, before you meet him, he's he's Ocean Master. He's bitter. He's angry. He's like he cause you know y'all don't know when you first meet Aquaman in DC, he's a villain. We done a hero. He's a villain. He's he's Ocean Master. He's coming to destroy the surface world, rightfully so, because all the bullshit that these mega corporations do dump oil and sludge into his fucking home. And who wouldn't want they look back at the generations? Not even decades. I ain't with that. But generations, get so somebody doing that. that. I mean, right. so when you first meet Aquaman, he's a villain, and Superman and Batman uh, talk him out of destroying the. The, the destroying the surface world, and he then becomes a hero, and then his brother Orm then becomes took up the mantle and try to do the, trying to finish a job that he started, which he becomes Ocean Master. That's the best story of Aquaman. But yeah, um, yeah, I, I like the actor who played him. And Jason Momoa, he was, well, what, what was he? My, he was too goofy in this uh, second movie. He was goofy in the first one. Yeah. When they like, that's the thing. When when they don't have, give him direction, he goes goofy because he's a naturally goofy ass person. Yeah, that's why I thought he was hilarious in Fast X. I'm like, yo, they just let this nigga do whatever, and it's hilarious. Like this nigga was Samoan Joker. That's why. That's why I, I can't wait for him to to be Lobo. That's just gonna be him showing up on set. That's it. <laughs> like a. Uh, uh, Another big win for the year. Uh, it came out back in the back in the winter of of twenty twenty three. The Last of Us on HBO. Yes, that was uh -oh. that was video game adaptation done right. I still think the best episode was episode three when it was uh Nick Offerman and the other guy. Oh yeah, yo yo, I totally agree. I was talking to Demon Engine about that. To me, that was one of the best episodes, and Nick. Offerman, one of the manliest men of our generation, being fucking gay. I fucking loved it. Fucking the, loved it. Because at the end of the day, I always just look at him and see Ron Swanson. Yes. <laughs> yes no matter what he does, he's Ron Swanson. But he was amazing in fucking uh, The Last of Us. It was a heartfelt, emotional ass episode. And, and he was no pushover. <laughs> nah, he shouldn't be. He was still Ron Swanson. <laughs> yo, when the world I may down, dabble in man ass from here and there from time to time, but don't get it twisted. Don't I get still it twisted. am that nigga. <laughs> yo, when the world when the world came crashing down, he was waiting for this shit his whole motherfucking life. Yo, he like right? this the moment Dang I've been waiting for. This thing was Fuck hot man in fact, Tom, I got this. The day it started, he was already in his underground bunker. There was a an another another big win movie, and every year there's at least one good found footage film. I'm gonna give it to uh, Missing. S Missing came out this year. It was a it was a Nia Long pretty much Nia Long went missing. And her black daughter turned heaven and hell to find her. And yeah. The story and the story goes wild. I strongly suggest people watch it. Uh, this year's unnecessary movie, but still good, was Saw X. Saw X. It's like y'all really don't need to keep making Saw movies, but for real, you know, for real. It, it like there was nothing wrong with it. It's it's fine. They're gonna even though they're gonna even keep though, those teeth until that until that milk run dry, like y'all keep bringing back the jigsaw dude, even though he's he died back in the third movie. That's how I feel about uh, Fast and Furious. Mm. They're gonna keep losing that cash cow until there's literally no more milk left. Uh, Ahsoka, Ahsoka was solid. Yeah, uh, yeah, I give a solid. I give a solid. 
my favorite animated movie this year is Tur- Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Okay. I, uh, I, th- I think that like it was one of the first it was one of the few times you saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles actually be teenagers. Uh, yeah. I think the kid. I think the kids did a great job. Ice Cube is super fly. Jackie Chan is Splinter. Uh, I I I honestly hope there is a franchise there. I would like to see more. Um, unexpected anime hit: Blue Eye Samurai and Scavengers Reign. Blue Eye Samurai, probably the best anime of the year. That the storyline, the animation, like everything. The the music, everything with Blue Eyes Samurai was was phenomenal. Uh video game adaptation that I th- that I personally think was better than The Last of Us because there's a lot more parts to it is Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal was amazing. Like and, like like as soon as the writer strike ended, I went on a tirade on Twitter and like, yo, Nanda Nanda, everything is done. Can we start working on a second season of Twisted Metal? Because um, I like don't get me wrong. I think The Last of Us was a great adaptation. Uh, because Demon, could you stop doing that, please? It was very so. I love you, but damn, that shit is described. <laughs> but uh, they called it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, damn it! Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. Uh, Twisted Metal had a lot more working against it, whereas The Last of Us, it was just like a lot of this you could just copy frame for frame and from they did. the fucking video game, and they did, and they, and they did. Where Twisted Metal, it's like okay, it, it was no story take, there. You've got to take this weird ass video game concept and make a fucking story, and somehow they made it work. You, they introduce a lot of video game characters without beating your head, beating you over the head with it. It was funny. It was action packed. It had it had its it had its good points, and you're left definitely wanting more. Yeah, uh, yes. So, I mean, Twisted Metal was amazing, even though like they had it to like almost completely veer away from the video game, like. <laughs> Like the the only thing they really took from the video game was the characters, and 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 second season if we do get it, um they they're gonna go back into the uh the video do you, game. Do you not do you not do you not remember that at the video game awards, Anthony Mackie no. announced season two. Oh my god, I, I missed. That. I was working when it dropped. Ah. When, when World was on, y'all y'all watch it. I I came I came home at the end of it. I caught the video game. I got caught game of the year, so I didn't see any of the video. Uh, uh, two more, two more big anime hits. I want to touch on uh, before I'm done. Uh, Hurry up! Know, Ca- we over Castlevania, the time. Castlevania Nocturne. Amazing. Oh, well, amazing. Ten out of ten. <laughs> and Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. Also uh, amazing. It's a un, it, it's definitely not what I thought it was going to be walking in, but it's an amazing use of Ubisoft characters. Yes, and I hats off to their creativity. And I'm sorry, we are over time. Uh, my apologies to everybody, but seriously, we want to thank you guys for checking us out today. Uh, happy holidays to you and yours. We want you guys to treat each other with love and respect. Of course. Uh, this time of the year, things can be dire for some of us. It gets very lonely. If you feel a certain way and you can't reach out to anyone, please grab your phone and dial 988. That is the uh, National Service uh, Suicide Hotline. Please take care of yourself. We'll, uh, we'll put that in the description below. So whenever you see this episode and whenever you feel the need to talk to somebody, the number will be down below in the description at the top. So, yeah. We here for you, and and if you want to talk, we we respond to every comment, um, on all of our socials, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, IG, Facebook, Twitter. So, mm-hmm. but uh, folks, when please take care of yourselves. Have a happy holiday, a happy holidays, guys. It's good to have another year with you, bastards. Demon Engine, always comic boss. Love you. Love you too, my G. Uh, special shout outs to our boss lady and of course Queen Neek. 
Both of them mm-hmm. are both of them aren't here, but they're always here in our hearts. Um thank you guys for checking us out, especially you guys out on YouTube. We're slowly growing. Uh we always need more, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And if you folks just listen to the podcast, I hope you're downloading it, whatever you're listening to it. And please let us know what you think. All right, that's our time, guys. All right, please take care of yourselves. Happy holidays. Peace. Merry Christmas, bitches. Merry Christmas, bitches. And happy New Year's, hoes. Let's end this shit right.